Hola, 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 guys. It's me, and I'm coming to you with a first impressions video, which I, like, barely do, but I'm going to do today um, because I'm totally excited about this product that I got about a week ago, um, and I finally was able to get to it now because... I just don't have any time in my life right now, but that's my problem. <laughs> um, this is from Wet n Wild, and if you are not aware of this product, then I'm going to make you aware of it now. It's the goth -O graphic and here is the entire set right here. Oh, it just fills up my screen. This is the goth -O graphic Spring with a holographic edge, and I am pretty excited about these products i have not tried any of these products um i opened it i looked at it but i have not swatched them haven't tried them on or anything i'm gonna just pretty much try everything out here in front of the camera so that you guys can see um first of all love the packaging very cute packaging and holographic which obviously um is fitting the theme of this now this is $40 for the entire set. You can buy the pieces separately on the website. I'm not 100% sure if you'll find them in the pharmacies. I think that you will, um, but I personally have not seen them in the pharmacy, so I just decided to go ahead and just get the whole set online. Again, the online on their site is $40. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this box. Let's get started. Alrighty. So here I am, and here is what the products look like. Da -da, as you can see, we have some powder over here. We have a highlighting stick. These are highlighting powders. You have some lippies over here, liquid lipsticks. You have some liquid eyeliners, and then you have some liquid eyeshadow. So I'm going to go into the product. I mean, I'm probably not going to try them all because, I mean, where would I put everything on my face? Um, but let me see the first product, which is the most interesting to me, which is this product right here. This is the color, well, it says Moon Tears. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Loose Highlighting Powder. So here it is right here. I love this packaging. It's just the cutest thing. Just going to open this up because it is sealed broke the tape off of that so I want to see what's going on with this this is so cute the little holes where the powder comes out of is in the obviously form and obviously in a formation of a skull so I'm gonna go ahead and but you know I just never ever have any luck with opening these freaking things mm -hmm. okay I got it out and some of the powder came out in the process, so I'm just gonna, I guess, put some on my hand and see what's going on. Oh yeah, it's definitely sparkly if you can see that. I'm actually gonna put a little more in my hand so that you can really get the gist of it. Whoa. <laughs> now that is some illumination right there. Um, wow. But you know, it spreads really nicely. So as you can see, it's once you spread it out it's not like a crazy glitter thing going on so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna test it and just put some on my face right now I'm gonna okay <laughs> let's put some on my face I'm just gonna put a fair amount because I just don't know Woohoo! do you see this holy moly thinking yeah this is definitely a sheen on your face But it's not, it's not totally crazy. I mean, I put a whole bunch here, but I feel that if you really blend it out, it's really not going to be so bad. I don't know if I would put this like all over my face, maybe in certain areas or something lightly. That doesn't look so bad. You have some illumination thing going on there. I think that uh, this would really be nice on your decollege. Uh, on your neck around here. I think that that would be really nice. I do like this product though. <laughs> a bit messy like with any loose powder. It's going to be a little bit messy. So okay. So I'm going to go into the next product. The next product. This is the Mega Glow Highlighting Stick. So this is pretty much the stick form of what I was just dealing with with the powder. So I just opened it right now. Which was a lot more easier. So I think. 
this is how it looks. And I'm trying to figure this out. Oh, I see. Okay. So you take off the plastic and you roll it up. And there you go. There's the stick. Oh, okay. So here's the swatch right here. Wow, that's really pretty. And this is definitely, this is, this is going like a purple holographic glow going on there. The powder has more of a golden shift. It has definitely more of a golden shift. So I'm going to go on here and see. You see that? Yeah, this definitely has a different, see this has definitely like a different holographic color. This is more like a lavender type color. It is pretty though. And it glides well. And it spreads well too. Um, I'm not a fan of the sticks. I prefer highlighting powder. Um, but that's pretty much because I have combination skin. And usually when you have combination skin or oily skin, you would lean more to a highlighting powder than a highlighting stick. But um, I mean, it does definitely feel moisturizing. And I do like the color. I really do think that's really pretty. All right, so I'm gonna keep glowing and getting these glows up in here. Next product, oh man, I'm trying to open this. Okay, this is the highlighting powder. This also is a highlighting powder, as you can see. And I'm gonna open this right now, hopefully without breaking a nail. Jeez. Okay, got it open. So here's the product, and if you can carefully see, there's actually a skull that is carved into the highlighter. Very cute. Um, this color, this is called White Raven. And I'm gonna take a brush over here. And I guess I'll go on this side <laughs> and uh, see what this powder is about. Mm. Okay, there seems to be, looks like with this one, I mean, there is highlighting that is coming out. It looks like you have to layer it, layer it a little bit more. But the color definitely is there. And this color is actually similar um, to the stick, in my opinion. So there you go. I'm going to go into the next one, which is also a highlighting powder. But this is a pink sparkly one, as you can see. So this is going to be obviously the same formula. But I'm interested to see how this one comes out because... It has some glitter up in there. I don't know how I feel about the glitter. So trying to open this, just bear with me while I open this. Oh my gosh, it's so hard. Okay, I got it. <laughs> so here's how it looks. This is a more pink color. And as you can see, this has some serious glitter going on. So I'm gonna, I don't know, try under here and see how this color comes out just so that you can see if there's any difference which I kind of don't really see any difference let me swatch to see if there's any I don't really see much of a difference this kind of I mean if you get a heavier brush I guess something more dense this is how it will really come out I'm swatching with my fingers but on the brush um, it doesn't seem like I'm getting a lot of color. I mean, it's there, but I have to layer it like the other one. All right, so those are the highlighters, and I'm gonna go into the liquid lipsticks now. I'm not gonna try on all the liquid lipsticks, obviously. Um, I will swatch them. There are four colors here. Um, so here's the first color, and this is the color Wicked Pink. And I'm going to open this right now as well. And these all have, um, these are so cute, the tops. As you can see, all little holographic skulls. The packaging, or rather the, uh, yeah, the packaging to open it up is absolutely annoying. <laughs> all right, so luckily I opened this rather quickly. So here is how the color looks, and this is in Wicked Pink. I'm gonna swatch this so that you can see the color. Let me see, maybe I should, oh, it's really light. It's really light. Here's the color. I actually swatched it. Let me see if there's somewhere else where I can swatch it. I don't think it's swatching well because my hand is full of highlighter. Uh, this is really light though. Yeah, here's my hand with no highlighter. 
the color is right there and that's me swatching it I put color on here quite a couple of times it's very light kind of disappointed about that um yikes what can I say <laughs> kind of disappointed about that I was kind of hoping it was a little more opaque in color but anyway moving on I'm gonna go into the next color this color is the color pastel grunge and this is a glittery purple as you can see glittery lavender let's see if this swatch is any better this one here is the swatch for this one it's really more of a blue actually so that you can see that and let me see the next color this is in the color gunmetal heart this packaging is killing me <laughs> okay let me show you the color now this is these all look really light i mean i'm kind of surprised i'm and like not in a good way <laughs> like I'm, I'm disappointed really these colors are so light look at this it is so light it's crazy and i have nothing on this hand like at all wow that is just like really really light i really thought that um these colors were gonna be a little darker a little more opaque now this color which looks like the darkest one this is the color death to unicorns <laughs> death to unicorns and this is a i'm gonna call this is like a blue like a turquoisey gray and it has some glitter in there i don't know i'm gonna try this one on but i'm really i'm really shocked at how light these colors are yeah they're definitely light as you can see Ugh. you see that i'm gonna just finish the top half oh my goodness Ugh. i am so disappointed in this color i'm so disappointed it's like light and streaky and it's just not uh, it's just not opaque enough i'm so sad because <laughs> these colors looked so promising but they're so very very light i really thought that they were going to be more opaque so <sighs> all right so we're going to go into the eyeliners now the liquid eyeliners um these are how they look i'm hoping i don't know i'm kind of like doubtful now on these products i mean i know wet and wild isn't a you know big uh quality brand like you know like we say whatever so maybe I, I shouldn't have my hopes up too too much but still had my hopes up so um i'm going to swatch these these are the megalux metallic liquid eyeliner and this one is in the color skull prayer and pretty much looks white this is a white liner so i'm just gonna swatch this first of all oh gosh okay so here is the color just swatching it there as you can see doesn't look so bad the brush however looks kind of uh, flimsy <laughs> can I say it looks flimsy you know what you probably can't tell because this is white so I'm gonna go show another color so that you can maybe see a little bit better this is in the color pink coffin so I'm gonna open this up and yeah the brush oh brush why why do you look so flimsy there's a little bristle already hanging out <sighs> you're killing me you're just killing me but um i want to swatch this right now and see what's going on and find out who's calling me too okay so i'm gonna give this pink a try <sighs> why am i dreading this <laughs> i'm totally dreading this Oh, you know, it's not so bad. Eh. Well, 
it's very light as you can see I mean I know it has a whole theme going holographic and all that you know it's light I mean obviously you can definitely pair this up with eyeshadow or what have you I don't think I mean obviously if you're really light skinned like me I don't think that I mean you probably can get away with it you know alone I guess if you want something subtle but I wouldn't wear this alone like that without any eyeshadow because it's just way too light but application was smooth kind of actually got caught up on my up eyelid over there but I'm gonna try the other color this is the last of the three colors um this is in the color black butterfly and it's pretty much as purple man these these brushes are like weird they're like so weird and like cheap Ugh. disappointed I'm gonna try this on the other eye and see how it goes these eyeliners you these liquid eyeliners you definitely have to like put more than one coat one coat is definitely not enough and I have a foundation and I have on eyeshadow primer so my eyelids are not bare I have product on them and yeah it's just not it's really light it's very light I thought that they were going to be a little more, um, just a little bit darker, but they're really light. Kind of disappointed. <laughs> like, can you just see the enthusiasm just like slowly being sucked out of me? <laughs> so I'm going to go into the last product um, and I'm going to show you guys the liquid eyeshadows. Um, this product, and I already took off the packaging, this is in the color Pure Intention. So this is a doe foot applicator, as you can see. And I'm going to swatch it somewhere. So I'm going to swatch it right here. And that is very light. I actually like the color, though. It's really pretty. You can actually, I mean, I'm sure you can build these things up when you put eyeshadow on. Um, if you want to put this as some type of glow or what have you, you can definitely use this. Um, it kind of has a, it has a thin watery texture. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I mean, like really thin. And I just like, I mean, I rubbed it a little bit to blend and it's gone. You can see like the color is totally gone. So. I'm not really sure how I feel about that. I mean, I know that these are holographic and they're, you know, glittery holographic side, but I really thought that these things would have some color on them. Um, the next color, this is in the color Mystic Dreamer, and I'm going to swatch it over here. See, you can see these colors are all light colors. This is a very light pink. Um, the next color, I have two more colors. This is in the color Goth Tears, and you can see the color right here. At least these are a little easier to open. So I'm going to swatch this over here, as you can see. I mean, I'm, sh I'm swatching these right in front of you guys. The last color, this is in the color Nyctophilia. I hope I pronounced it right. <laughs> And I'm just going to swatch this color over here as well. Okay. So here is that color right here. I'll swatch it again. <laughs> That's the color. All right. So I have shown you every piece in this collection. And my thoughts upon my first impression of looking at this product because I have not tried this product or anything first time I'm opening everything um, don't buy the whole set <laughs> um, I think that you are good with just buying a few of the pieces um, I honestly don't feel anything wonderful about the 
liquid eyeshadows the liquid lipsticks were a major disappointment for me um i felt that they were just too watery they were not opaque they were streaky on my lips i mean for me to obtain this amount that i don't even think it's that dark anyway i had to put like a lot of stuff this formula looks like it will fade quickly um i just am so disappointed with the formulation of the liquid lipsticks um as well as the liquid eyeshadows very thin in texture i mean if they blend i have no idea how it would it just looks like really really light but then again um you know you can probably layer these on eyeshadow to give you some type of a holographic you know um effect but i'm not really sure how much they would hold up because it's very watery in texture um i also am not crazy about the liquid eyeliners the liquid eyeliners the brushes are very flimsy um i think that they're workable but they're kind of flimsy um the colors are not dark enough in my opinion um even though this is like a holographic theme that you're going for i kind of felt that these um these products lacked in pigmentation so the only things that i actually liked were the highlighting powders <laughs> the loose powder the stick and the two um pressed powders actually for me personally out of the whole collection i think that that's pretty much the only products that i think um are worth getting i would in my opinion i would skip the lipsticks skip the liquid eyeshadows and skip the eyeliners if you're into you know you want just a little bit of color light color whatever then i think you'll be fine with the liquid um lipsticks if you want to try it out with the liquid eyeshadows um to maybe put a little bit of color or a little bit of glitter on your eyeshadow then i guess maybe you can give that a try i really don't care for it um the only products that i actually liked were the pressed highlighting powders the highlighting stick and the highlighting loose powder so am i bummed uh yeah just a little bit bummed <laughs> but in either event i hope that this video helped you guys into you know finding out which products you want to try or not i mean the proof is here <laughs> I, I uh swatched everything on and i put everything on with foundation on my face i mean my face is not you know clean without any makeup i wanted to put on foundation um to see how these colors would come out and the highlighting and all that stuff so you're seeing first glance on how all the products looked on me so I will put the link below in case you're interested in any of these products they do sell them separately so if you do not want to spend the $40 which in my opinion I think would kind of be a waste um, just get a couple of the select powders and Godspeed to you my friends so thank you for watching and watching me ramble and color my body and I will see you guys very very soon Adios.